Hey everybody. So today, me and Toddy and Trey, say hi. Hi. Are heading over to Dayton in Cincinnati. We're going to go do the pictures of the fronts of the stores. Um, I'll go into more detail later about why I'm not filming in the store. Um, I've talked about it some. I'll talk about it more later in the video. But this is our journey to, we're starting off in Springfield, so. So let's head to Springfield. in Eaton, Ohio. We're just going to eat lunch at Burger King. Um, we have went to six stores today in the Dayton uh, Easter Sills. I'll write down the name of the actual stores, uh, the group name. Um, anyway, we went to six stores so far. We're heading back towards Dayton to get more back into maybe hopefully getting through some more faster because we're trying to do this in two days. <laughs> um, so far they've been okay stores. There's been a couple that's been nice Majority they have the same end caps, the same items on the end caps. You can very much tell that they have set end caps, that they have a lot of the used goods or the new new stock, like where they buy bulk or they buy stuff from people. You know what I mean? Like the new stuff. They have a whole bunch of like the same end caps on each store. It seems to be they have the same things that were donated. <laughs> The clear glass vases, just like everything looks to be the same. Um, I haven't really seen anything that has like wowed me. Um, but again, I kind of knew that coming into Dayton, they're all kind of the same. Um, I found some stuff for me to use personally for like my mom and everybody, my, my son. But for resale, I have not found anything and that's not necessarily the goal of the trip. Uh, the trip goal right now is just for me to visit the Goodwills because I can't go in and film. I got told no. Um, so I'm just visiting the stores. So we're just on a little road trip seeing the stores. I'm taking a picture and then we're moving on to the next one. So it's fun so far. Uh, we get quite a bit more to do and then we'll be at the hotel and I'll show you guys that when we get there. So stay tuned. I can see. Okay. Look, we got this. And in the bathroom. And a sink. And soap. And towels. And also shoes. Last one for today. Kick, 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 kick. Small kick. Do you want to 
to show me how you jump in? Yeah. Okay, show me. Yep. Okay. I'm holding on. You're doing a good job, buddy. Hi, Toddy. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Careful. Watch out. There's a bark. There you go. Come on. Oh, where's the... Okay. Come on. I picked up these two things today at, I don't remember which one, this is the last one that I just did, and this was earlier today, $3.99 for this box, $4.99 for the bag. So I'll show you what all. I just now saw this. It's cute. Cute, cute. All right, I'll show you what else. There you go. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. So far, this is what we have. This little lady here, she's marked. She does have a sticker Japan, but she does not have a hand. And then we got some ornaments. He's got a sticker on him too. We've got some little things. Got these reindeer. One is missing the antlers, but I'm hoping maybe they're inside. But so far, they're all vintage. Here's another look inside the box now that we've took some stuff out. I'm excited to keep looking. Yay! Alright, so this is the first box here. This is what I pulled out as what I think is vintage. Um, so I got a little candy cane here. This little guy is a hallmark. He winds up and then his arm waves. <laughs> he is a uh, pin. And then we've got this little ornament here, the tree. It's got a little girl on it. Looks like it needs a tad bit of glue to hold that down. Little pin guy, this little pick girl, and then just some glass ornaments. Here. These are two doves that clip on. These are the reindeer I was meaning earlier, the ornaments. They hook together. Um, this one is missing the antlers, and I can't find them, so it's probably why they were donated. But we got this little ornaments, little felted gloves. I thought it was really cute. Got this little walnut shell person. And then we got the angel, like I said. Got this lovely thing. <laughs> um, Got the little elf guy. He is made in Japan. <clears throat> and this little ornament here. And like I said, this girl, very pretty. Her sticker right here says, made in Japan from all new material. This guy was adorably cute, holding a tree and I think just from the shape of what's there and here, it's supposed to be this paper Santa. And then these guys, they're called Mary's. I don't know if they can, Hallmark, 2011, they're Mary's Angels. Uh, I think the set of three of them probably could get me 10 bucks or so, if not a little bit more, so. That in itself pays for everything. 
Um, I'm going to look up the reindeer and see what they are. And the rest is going to go towards my project for next Christmas. That, which will be announced later on. <laughs> Alright, let's look through the other one. I want to show you guys the bags here first. Um, I really like how they do this with all their big loose items. They put them in the bags, Ziploc bags, and then they have these on top. So it makes it hang a lot easier and they keep them contained. I really like how they do this. So I wanted to give that up a good, a good thumbs up to Dayton for that. I really like the bags. So far I've seen that in every store. So good job. So already I have this Santa Claus and this little couple things here. And then these unfortunately are going to have to be thrown away because they are moldy. Um, not really moldy, but like they look like they used to have been moldy. You know what I mean? And we've still got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm really excited about this bag. Very excited. Oh look, it's a Polar Express train. Looks kind of like it, doesn't it? Yeah, the Polar Express train. Okay, the Polar Express. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is what we got out of the box. We've got these little plastic Santa and Mrs. Claus. This little wooden candle that you clip onto a tree. A little crocheted Santa head. A little fabric Santa. The Santa pick here. This one here. A couple other little small figures. We got a Mrs. Claus here. Kissing or either grumping? I don't know. Something. A couple of some ornament bulbs. A little felted church there, but some of the felt is missing. And a little train. And then this is what is all going to get redonated. Yeah. Overall, I'm pretty happy. It's a good little haul. Day two. Yeah. Um, it's going to take longer than we thought to go to all the Dayton Goodwills, even to take pictures. We got 12 done yesterday. We have 11 oh, to do today. Yeah. So we'll see what time we get done, and we may go down and do Cincinnati, but uh, unless we can get done before noon, we ain't going to Cincinnati. <laughs> it gets dark at 6 o'clock, so mm -hmm. it's a little harder. I do 11 Goodwills. You don't want to. No. Why? Because. You get to play your Switch. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'll that's keep true. you updated. these bags at the Goodwill for five dollars a piece and there are five of them so me and Toddy's gonna go through and see what we got <laughs> all the little pieces uh, good luck may the odds be in your favor Hey everybody, um, sorry for the, if I sound like I'm slurring a little bit, went to the dentist, but it's okay. Um, I just wanted to kind of recap our latest trip to Dayton. Um, I didn't really look too much to resell for things like that. I was just mainly 
wanting to see the stores, get as many stores as I could done. Um, I believe we got 22 stores, 21 maybe, stores that I took pictures of that are in the beginning of this video. Um, hold on. All right, there we go. So what I wanted to just kind of talk to you guys about is um, usually when I approach a group about filming in their area, I, I basically just ask for permission. Um, I don't want any collaboration, nothing like that. I just, I just want to ask permission because at the beginning I went to certain stores and they were like, oh, we have to contact our manager. So I just went ahead and started contacting the group ahead of time. Um, when I contacted Dayton, they did tell me that it is in their policies that they don't allow people to film or photo. Okay, cool. That's fine. You know, that's fine with me. Um, so what, what I decided to do since the whole series is visiting every Goodwill in Ohio, I decided that I'm going to go to the stores, take a selfie with myself in front of the store. So that's what I did. So that is why you saw me go in front of the stores and take pictures. Like you saw a whole bunch of pictures. <laughs> um, I got very ambitious and I thought that I could do Dayton and Cincinnati, like 40 something 30 something total in the day like two days um that did not work out we only got through dayton from south of 70 in two days like a day and a half um there are still five i believe above 70 that i have to do um i'm going to attach those when i go up to do marion's outlet their bins i'm going to make my way down and get the pictures for the last five of the Dayton store and then there is one Dayton Goodwill that is to the east of Cincinnati down by Cincinnati so when I get done doing Cincinnati I'm gonna swing out and get that one so that will come at the end of, of the Cincinnati so I would have loved to get all of the Dayton stores in one uh, they had 29 total so I just had to do what was economically good if that makes sense um, but yeah, we had a lot of fun. We stayed at a hotel. We went swimming. Um, and then, then the guys just, they had, they just did so good. They just rode along with me and put up with my bull crap. So I, I can't ask for more. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys really quickly. Um, like I said, I didn't really go to find anything to resell. Like that wasn't my goal. Um, I did find this little statue guy and here's the faces here there's the faces and he is a tall little guy um he is that's backwards I know that but uh, Louise Henderstrom it's like a Sweden person um it was $3.99 is what I paid for it and the cheapest that I saw sold was $35 so the highest, I think it was like 50 or 60 something. So I went ahead and picked it up for four bucks. I'm like, well, yeah, you know, even at $30, it's still a good little profit. And then we found, like you saw in the video, I said we found bags of Legos at the last store. <laughs> so we ended up buying five bags of Legos, $5 a piece, $25. And I make it, and I just told Toddy, I said, if anything, it's fun. We can play with Trey. And it's fun. But I did see a couple of minifigures in there that I really wanted to get. Um, so let me show you what those are. Alright, if you are familiar with The Hobbit, this is Biffer. He's the one with the axe in his head. Right there. And then this is Oin. So, with his staff... He sells for about $40. Um, his staff kind of looks like this. Like, I think this is the right bottom and middle, but it's not the right top. So I'm going to look through the bags to see if I can find it for him. Um, Biffer here has like a spear or something, and I haven't been able to find that. But then we found this little orange guy here, and then we have some like hair 
I think it's a Lord of the Rings one too. Or a Hobbit. And then just some little accessories. And then we've got this little guy over here and this guy up here. This is an orc from The Hobbit. Um, he's like an orc king or something. And I thought that maybe this went with him because it's the orc ears or the elf ears. But when I looked it up online, there was some other orcs that had that hair, that hair on it. So they don't go together, but it's the same realm. So that's pretty cool. I had wished we could have went to that store the last one we found the Legos. I wish we could have went there the day before because she said they had so much Legos. They had just a bin of them. But they just scooped them up and put them in a bag. So we had to buy five bags to get that. Um, because one of them, I think the Biffer, I think the guy with the, the ax in his head, his body was in one bag and his hair was in another bag. So unfortunately we've probably lost a lot of characters in that because people probably came, I mean, I bought everything that was left. So other people probably saw the characters and they're just assumed that like their hair, their accessories would be in those bags and they probably wasn't, <laughs> but I wish we could have, I mean, I, I don't know. I love Final Lego min, mini figurines and they actually sell really well. Depending on which ones you get, they actually sell really well. Like, I should be able to get the two Hobbits. I should be able to get $45 to $50 for both of them, which is great, you know. And then the other ones, um, lucky $10 a piece, which is fine. $5 a piece is fine. Um, it's just so neat. I love it. So... I just wanted to say, I know this is a little different of Goodwill stores, and yes, you're going to see a big jump now in my store numbers, because like I said, we went to 21 stores in this series. So it's going to jump up exponentially. It will happen again when I go to Cincinnati, but that probably will be a month or two away. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the weird little series that you know, that I decided to do and thought that it'd be a great idea. And it's, it is, it's fun. It's really fun. It's a lot of stores, but it's really fun. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate all the subscribers, the comments, everything. I just really, I'm really, really grateful. I know I say that, but I am. So thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in a couple days for the next video. And... Embrace your thrifty soul. Bye, guys. Bye.